Hi everyone, I'm Mariana Lugu, a Senior Data Engineer in AWS Certified Pro. Recently, I passed the AWS Solutions Architect Professional Exam, and let me tell you, that exam was a mental grind. I actually felt it the first time, no joke. The questions, they were paragraph long, literally covering the entire monitor screen at the testing center. And you only get about two and a half minutes per question, uh, sometimes less, since there are 75 questions in total. You can bookmark questions um, and return to them later, but in my case, uh, I bookmarked way too many. Yep, that was my first attempt. I'd already passed the AWS Solutions Architect um, Associate a while ago, but it expired back in 2023. Uh, so this year, I decided to go straight for the professional to level up, of course, and that decision really shaped my uh, study path. When I was prepping, I couldn't find many YouTube videos um, talking about the professional level uh, Solutions Architect exam um, experience, so I wanted to share mine and help you know what it's really like. In January, I bought Stefan Marek's uh, professional course on Udemy, thinking I'll nail the exam um, with just that. <laughs> Funny me. After going through the videos once, I tried some practice tests, and then quickly I realized that wasn't enough. That course is mostly PowerPoint style slides, summarized and not very hands-on or in-depth. I bought it because, you know, it had good reviews. But honestly, you really need to refresh associate level knowledge before jumping in uh, the professional level. So I switched gears. I bought Neil Davis associate level course, um, also on Udemy. Uh, that course uh, went much deeper and it included hands-on labs, which really helped. I did the labs alongside the videos to help uh, retain more info. Then I bought Neil's practice tests and took the Solutions Architect Associate exam. I passed that. And after that, I took a week off and started um, prepping again, this time for professional exam. First thing I did was rewatch all of Stefan Morek's professional course content. Um, this time I had a few real aha uh -huh moments um, because for me, uh, learning often happens in layers. I miss things the first time around. Um, Rewatching uh, really helped solidify things. After that, I bought um, Stefan's professional practice tests and I went through them in uh, review mode. Um, I picked an answer, um, then checked immediately whether it was right or wrong. Um, basically studied both correct and incorrect explanations. Um, they were really good at walking you through the uh, real world uh, reasoning, um, not just uh, you know dry definitions. At this point, I felt pretty good, um, so I scheduled the exam at the testing center. Um, I didn't want to deal with the online proctoring rules, uh, especially the no bathroom thing. Um, but testing centers have their own problems. Uh, people walking in and out, noise, distractions. Uh, they give you these flimsy earplugs, um, but I couldn't wear them for more than a minute. I don't know, that's me. AWS doesn't show your results right away. Um, I went home um, super anxious. A few hours later, I got this dreaded email. Um, your AWS certification uh, exam results are available. Um, and of course, it didn't say congratulations. And yep, I missed the passing score for just a little. I got a 700, but passing is 750. So close. So close, but that was not enough. So I took a few uh, days to the group. Then I signed up uh, for AWS Skill Builder, uh, went through the free training, um, did the free practice tests, then subscribed to the paid content for a month. Honestly, I didn't find it super helpful. The practice tests had minimal explanations, which wasn't great for um, deeper understanding. Then after some Googling, I found Tutorials Dojo. Um, I believe I paid $15 for their uh, professional level practice uh, exams. Uh, but those practice exams were total game changer and the best decision ever. They had five practice tests and uh, multiple modes, timed uh, review section based and a final test. Didn't finish all of them, um, but I went through most. Um, even then, I still never felt 100% um, ready. 
um, I was anxious, stressed, nervous, you name it. And honestly, even with all that prep, um, I was dreaming about exam, having nightmares about failing again. Um, I never felt ready. But at the same time, I was eager to uh, take the test again. So I decided to take the test again, uh, this time online. Um, with every single question, I doubted myself the whole time. It felt like deja vu. I was terrified I would fail again. I finished the test, but once you finish the test, there is a survey uh, that is asking you to do. Um, but I skipped the survey, uh, just wanted to be over. Um, who cares about that survey uh, after three hours of stress testing? And then the waiting. Then I went home after three hours later, I heard that ding on my phone. Try not to look, but saw the subject line, congratulations on passing your AWS certification exam. I basically froze. Um, I was speechless. Uh, of course, I was excited, but at the same time, I could not believe it. Um, so yeah, that was my journey. Um, it was tough, um, but with good preparation, anyone can pass this exam. Uh, so if you're preparing, uh, don't give up keep going, um, just keep going. And I wish you all the best on your AWS journey.